Hi, my name is Wendy Weinhoff, and I'm the director of MIS Career Management for the University of Arizona's Eller College of Management. It's my pleasure to have the opportunity to talk with you today, and I'm here to share some information about management information systems and our programs here at the University of Arizona. For those of you who aren't familiar with MIS, the field of management information systems involves applying computer technology, quantitative techniques, and administrative skills to the information processing requirements of organizations. MIS combines computer technology with management decision-making methods to analyze, design, implement, and manage computerized information systems in the organizational environment. So really, every aspect of business has some component of MIS incorporated in it. And so there's a, a huge demand for, for individuals with a background in management information systems. So here at the University of Arizona, we offer an undergraduate, a master's, and a doctoral program. Our undergraduate and master's programs are offered either on campus or 100% online. And then the doctoral program is only offered on campus. Recently, Eller College of Management made another jump in the 2021 US News and World Report Best Business School Ranking, something we're really proud of. Both our undergraduate and master's programs in MIS at the Eller College have placed in the top five nationally in the US News and World Report since the ranking's inception in 1989. Currently, the undergrad MIS program ranks number two among public programs across the United States and number four overall. And then the Master's in Management Information Systems in Eller has retained its top spot, which we're really excited about, uh, coming in for the second year in a row as a number three overall and number one among public universities in the United States. We also have our online master's program that's ranked number one publicly and again, number three overall. This year's rankings are based on peer and recruiter assessments as well as placement success, employment rates, and selectivity. So now I wanna talk a little bit about some of the courses that you would take in either our undergraduate or graduate program in MIS. Um, the core courses would include database management systems, business data communications, data structures and algorithms, business communications, and then information systems analysis and design. And then on top of that, you'll have some opportunities to take some elective courses if you wanna focus on a particular industry. So for instance, healthcare information systems would be an elective choice, social and ethical issues of the internet, which that is a, an issue around the world. If you have an interest in cybersecurity, we offer courses in information security in the public and private sectors, uh, information security risk management, as well as system security management. Um, there's also an option for detection of deception and intent, which is pretty interesting. And then if you have an interest in analytics or supply chain and logistics, those would be some elective options as well. And then in our graduate program, the core courses that are required would include enterprise data management. This is a really unique course where you have the opportunity in your first, <clears throat> excuse me, first semester to work with a real world client, creating a database from scratch, both front end and back end. Then you would also take a course in information systems analysis and design where we introduce agile methodology. And then the uh, other courses include uh, business data communications and networking, data mining for business intelligence, business communication, business foundations for IT. And then one of our really unique courses that we require you to take is our Eller Business Consulting. And this is in your second semester before you would go into your internship and you would work with uh, a group, a, a team uh, consisting of MIS and MBA students with a real world client for 16, 16 weeks, excuse me. And what you'll do is you're given a, a scope of a project, it's essentially a problem that the company is trying to solve and you're given the opportunity to solve those problems. And Incidentally, most of the solutions that our students provide are actually implemented in these organizations. So that's really exciting. Some of the other um, elective courses that you would have an option for, again, would include healthcare information systems, software design and integration, web computing and mining. Um, again, some of the cybersecurity options, but at a 500 level. And then also uh, data visualization, 
project management. A lot of our students have an interest in, in project management. And then big data technologies and big data analytics is another, uh, a couple courses that a lot of students are interested in. And then we also offer a course in business intelligence uh, as an elective. Uh, also at a master's level, we have three concentrations that are optional. You don't have to pick a concentration, but if you wanted to, the three that we offer would be security and information assurance, uh, business intelligence and analytics, and the third being managing business operations. So you would work with the academic advisor to determine which courses you would need to take in order to receive those concentrations. In the MIS department, we also offer a really unique program. It's called our Technology Leadership Program, TLP for short. Um, our elite TLP program offers students the opportunity to receive both a master's degree in business administration, so an MBA, and a master's in MIS in only two and a half years of study. Uh, TLP um, prepares students for careers in the fast paced and exciting field of information technology by providing a unique unique technology and business learning experience. Uh, Classroom-based learning is supplemented with group collaboration, consulting projects, case competitions, and professional development. We're really to, trying to prepare uh, for our future CIOs. Um, Real-world experience is essential to the learning process, and TLP students will complete two summer internships, allowing them to gain a breadth of experience and encounter US business culture in more than just one company. Admissions in the TLP is highly competitive and offered only to select individuals who can meet the highest standards of both our Eller MBA and our Eller MIS programs. For just uh, traditional admissions, um, our admissions process stresses the importance of a balanced application. When we review our applications, our graduate admissions committee considers all applicants' uh, GPA, English skills as measured on the TOEFL and ILITS and GRE and GMAT, or GMAT. Um, and then we look for a strong evidence of quantitative skills through coursework and GR and G GMAT uh, quant scores. We also consider your full-time professional work experience. And then a clear personal statement that explains how a, uh, how a professional master's degree in MIS from U of A would advance your career objectives. Now, when we evaluate an applicant, we consider their uh, application as a portfolio um, of your life experiences. And we recognize that some dimensions, such as an undergraduate GPA, can't be improved, right? So what's done is done. So therefore, there is not one dimension that will either assure your admission or equally importantly, disqualify you from an offer of admission. Our program benefits from a diverse and inclusive group of scholars and our admissions process welcomes applications from a wide range of academic and professional fields. Uh, if you have an interest in a career in information systems and technologies, we strongly encourage you to apply. So that's a little bit about our admissions process. Now I know a lot of students that are considering our pro, a, a master's program or, or yeah, a, a master's program um, also wanna know about assistantships. So our MIS department does offer teaching assistance ships as well as graduate assistantships, but these positions are very competitive because there are not enough pro, um, assistantships to go around for the entire cohort. So, there are additional assistantships that are offered across the campus that our students have taken advantage of as well. And the MIS career management team will try to um, find those opportunities and share those with all of our graduate students so that you have the opportunity to apply. So for example, we have a university IT services department, we call it UITS, and they've hired several of our students to work on projects um, with assistantships, as well as our University Analytics and Institu Institutional Research Department, which is UAIR, and then our Human Resource Departments. They've got tons of analytics that they need help with, so they've hired our students to work on analytical projects with them, and those are just to name a few. Um, another unique thing that Eller College offers for all of our students, um, both undergrad, masters, or, do or doctoral, is we have, um, we, we have resources for professional development. So at the undergraduate level, you'll have a professional development center 
that will give you access to academic advisors and career coaches that will help guide you um, towards your career goals. And then at a graduate level, we have a designated MIS career management team um, to work with that includes our academic advisor, Mike Pauley, our assistant director, Sadie Randall, and then myself, the director of MIS career management. And we've created a curriculum that will help you with your professional growth through resume workshops, uh, mock interviewing, um, networking workshops with industry professionals and alumni. We try to organize career fairs as well as employer information ses sessions and career treks where we will take a group of students to employer sites to um, learn about what that company does and opportunities that they might have within that organization. Um, so now on to kind of the types of careers that MIS students can pursue. Um, MIS graduates will find career opportunities wherever computers are used in business industry and government. So there, there, there again, as I mentioned earlier, there's a, a, a lot of opportunity in this field. So to give you some examples of the types of things our undergraduates might work on would be website management, e-commerce development, um, decision support systems, credit and billing systems, inventory control systems, that sort of thing, and then just knowledge management systems and business analysis. And job titles that they might hold would include programmer, systems analysis, database manager, network administrator, software developer, uh, application developer, or project lead. And then at a graduate level, uh, graduate students will pursue careers such as uh, a data analyst, data engineer, product or program managers, and, and those are very different, but uh, a lot of our students will go that direction, either of those directions. Um, there's business intelligence, engineers, uh, business analysts, and then several of our students have gone to work for um, some of the big fours in IT consulting and advisory. Uh, so to name some of the companies that have hired our graduates, both at an undergraduate and master's level, that would include Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, again, the big fours like PwC, Deloitte, KPMG, IBM, and then, um, you know, hundreds of small to mid-sized companies as well. As well. So our, our students pretty much go across the United States for these opportunities um, in their career field. And, and we help try to connect the dots with you through our large alumni um, history and, and we can connect you to the people that are doing the jobs that you wanna do in the industry that you wanna do them in. All right, so that's a little bit about our program and the courses that we, we offer. Um, I do wanna kind of touch on though our current situation um, in light of COVID-19. Um, as you can imagine, several things have changed, uh, hopefully temporarily, but nonetheless, they've changed. So we are currently conducting all of our classes and business virtually. Um, however, we are still engaging with all of our students daily. Um, several of our students have been able to secure virtual internships with companies. And then as a department in college, we have actually had the opportunity to create some practical learning projects for our students that will add value to their resumes when they start their full-time search in the fall. Uh, as it stands currently, the, the university plans on offering in-person courses this fall, but with some changes to the learning environment. You know, we wanna make sure that we keep our students, staff, and faculty safe and healthy. So they're still working on what that might look like. Arizona as a whole, um, though, has started to reopen and people seem to be getting back to normal, whatever that might be, the new norm. So we are still here and, and pro progressing um, with our academics for our future Wildcats. And um, we hope that you will consider the University of Arizona Eller College of Management's MIS programs. Uh, to help you pursue your career, career dreams. If you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to reach out to any of us on our administrative team. And again, I appreciate the opportunity to share information about our MIS program today. Bear down and suit up.